A local leader say they've been pitching this plan to the A's for years, but does Sutter Health Park have the capacity to host a major league team? The short answer is yes. The stadium can fit roughly 14,000 fans between the seats and then the grass behind center field and the standing room. I love sitting in the grass over there. It's beautiful. I'll compare that to the Oakland Coliseum, which can hold up to 63,000 fans. Sounds like a lot, but the average attendance per A's game last year was only about 10,000. So I think we can handle it. Yeah. yeah. I'll still, there will be some renovations needed to turn Sutter Health Park into a major league ballpark. Our live team coverage, it continues with CBS 13's Jake Gaden getting answers on that and what this move, Jake, is going to mean for the River Cats. It seems like there's going to have to be some adjustments made. That's right, guys. It was an historic day here in West Sacramento as Major League Baseball will be played behind me next year, much in thanks to an easy and quick negotiation between King's owner Vivek Ranadive and A's owner John Fisher. We're excited to be here for the next three years. We felt that this was just a great interim home for the A's. Professional baseball is coming to the capital city. We have a lot of fans in this region. It's a great location. We have a great partnership with the Kings and Vivek and his team. So it really ended up being the best option for the club. In the next 12 months, upgrades will need to be done to Sutter Health Park, from stadium lighting to new clubhouses and weight rooms. We are investing in uh, making this a MLB level stadium. It's going to be a mix of player amenities as well as actual fan amenities, which we're excited about. So it'll be even better fan experience. That's things like premium and video boards and things of that nature. The plan is for the A's and the River Cats to coexist with some dynamic scheduling by the MLB. The team will also be called the Athletics or the A's, but will add some Sacramento flavor. There are going to be ways, especially with our uniforms, that we will honor Sacramento. Ron Adive made one thing clear. This move is to better the capital region in what he calls Sacramento 3.0. I want people to have something to do every single night of the year. And I want them to have multiple options. A baseball team is not just what happens on the diamond. It's also the impact it makes in the community. And this can be a really important aspect. And we're going to really invest in that. And as a permanent MLB home, Vivek says this. You know, we have to show what we can do. And I have complete confidence that if we set our mind to something, this is an incredible city. We have the best fans in the world. And at the end of the day, the best fans in the world will make it happen. Now, Rana Dive did tell me after his postgame scrum that actually he's been in contact with MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred, who said that the league is looking to expand two extra teams in a couple of years, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast, and thinks that Sacramento could be a great opportunity to be that West Coast team come in 2028, guys.